Hello, truth seekers. My name is Siobhan Bixel. Welcome to my family, <laughs> to my family, to my channel. I'm so happy you were able to join me. Please understand that this is a safe place to discuss questions concerning the narrative and history that we've been taught, that we've been programmed by, that we have questions about now, and we see evidence leading to thoughts that are just now developing in this small community. We want to get to the hit, hit to the heart of the hidden history, whether it's uh, discovering what's underneath the, the uh, mud or discovering what these historic buildings were really used for. Why they're even there in the time frame that they're there. We want to talk about resets. We want to talk about artificial intelligence. We want to talk about the paranormal. Maybe we'll discuss a cold case. Or an unsolved mystery. I don't know. Whatever suits my fancy, this is my channel. And I'm so glad you're joining me today. Thanks so much. I want to let you know uh, that I will join you as often as possible with little live segments. And today I'm going to discuss the creepiest house in North Carolina. What's known as the Stonewall Jackson Juvenile facility. It's basically started out as a prison. It's what I would consider an old world architecture. And I do have another video which does have pictures. Right now, I just want to give you a little, little preview of this place and uh, understand that this is in Concord, North Carolina. North Carolina. It's located on 100 acres. It was opened in an early time frame of 1909. Uh, it was the first juvenile facility in North Carolina, and up until this time, children offenders, and possibly even homeless children, who knows, were as young as five and six and being housed with grown-ass adults. It's disgusting. So anyway, this place opened up. I don't know if it, uh, how it started off. I, you know, I was going to say maybe it was an orphanage at one time, but I, I don't see that in history. It seems like it was used for a punishment and uh, means of discipline for mm, bad children. What a scary thought that is. Well, whatever went on behind those brick walls lives on in memories, haunting, horrible memories. I do have a, a excerpt from an interview with a man named Russell Dan Smith who went there in 1963 at the age of 13 for stealing. He was placed in where he was assaulted. Then he was punished for being attacked. His parents were told he was willfully engaging with boys and uh, it just sounds like horror. Thing. I will contact you later and thank you so much for joining me today. Stop this in. Well, thank you so much. I heard somebody at my door and uh, it's here. <laughs> Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe. And I will join you.